It's happened to me in films that I've shot, where they'll say something to the effect, the cinematography is great, but the story is bad, or something. For me, this is the worst thing that can possibly happen, because in reality, the film should just work as a whole. But um, I, um, I'm a movie fan, and I'm as much a movie fan today as when I was six years old. And so I still go to a movie to see the writing, the acting, the story, and the cinematography all in one thing. You know, I don't really have a checklist that says, oh, it didn't do this or it didn't do that. Because I feel that over the course of time, in the last 120 years, um, movies have changed. And I think my idea of what works has changed. And um, I think sometimes what people teach in film school is can be a little bit old-fashioned because as ideas have changed and as stories have changed and as cinematography has changed, um, we have to constantly look at films differently. But really what matters to me is if it moved me. Did I laugh? Did I cry? Um, did I learn something? Um, uh, and, and that's, I'm still a movie fan in that sense. That's what I do. But um, in this day and age of people like Donald Trump running the world, um, I've become an addict to Marvel comic films. Oh, me so, too. <laughs> because I don't want to know about these crazy yeah. politicians. I would rather just be in a fantasy world. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, I don't know. I think it's a kind of different issue now, what we think about. And I'll be very curious in the future to see what film critics think of this era of filmmaking and, uh, you know, and, and what, uh, how it affected the public. Mm -hmm.